Beloved in the Lord, Holy Scripture admonishes us that all things should be done decently and in order. To that end, the Constitution and bylaws of this congregation establish various offices to which men and women are elected and appointed to serve. In so doing, the church follows the example of the early church as described in Acts chapter 6. The twelve summoned the full number of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should give up preaching the word of God to serve tables. Therefore, brothers, pick out from among you seven men of good repute, full of the spirit and wisdom, whom, will appoint, whom we will appoint to this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The apostle Peter writes in the first epistle, As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. Whoever speaks as one who speaks oracles of God, whoever serves as one who serves by the strength that God supplies, in order that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Dale, John, Judy, Juanita, Juanita, Debbie, Judy, Leroy, Ray, Diane, Barbara, Phyllis, Mike, Jerry, Ben, Ed, Charlie, Richard, Leroy, Ray, Ray, Matthew, Larry, Ray, Jackie, Richard, Janine, Debbie, Diane, Rebecca, and Barbara. You have been chosen to fill specific offices, offices and positions of responsibility at Emmanuel Lutheran Church. You are to work with the pastor that our life together in Christ may be orderly and pleasing in his sight. You are to see that the services of God's house are held at the proper times, that the word of God is purely preached and taught according to the Lutheran confessions, that the sacraments of Christ are administered according to his institution, that provision is made for the Christian instruction of young and old, that the erring, erring are admonished, and that discipline is maintained. You are to see that the temporal affairs of the congregation are properly administered and that the proper support is provided for the workers of this congregation. You are to assist in caring for the poor and the sick in cultivating harmony among the members in promoting the general welfare of the congregation and in furthering the kingdom of Christ here and throughout the world. While holiness of life and obedience to Christ are expected of all members of the congregation, it is especially important that you, as office bearers in his church, show yourselves by word and example to be faithful to him in service and Christian devotion. In the presence of God and this congregation, I therefore ask you, do you accept the offices entrusted to you, and do you promise faithfully to carry out your duties, trusting in the Lord, and confront conforming yourselves to his word in accordance with the faith of the Evangelical Lutheran Church? If so, then answer, I do. I do. Beloved in the Lord, you have heard the promises of faithfulness spoken by these men and women whom you have selected to serve as officers of Emmanuel. Do you promise to support them in their work, to remember them in your prayers, and to work with them to the best of the abilities that God has given you, so that he may be glorified and his work be done in our midst? If so, then answer, we do. We do. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I install you as officers of Emmanuel Evangelical Lutheran Church in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Almighty and most merciful God enlighten and strengthen you in your offices that you may be good and faithful stewards to the glory of his name and the good of his people. Please stand and let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we give thanks that you have raised up these servants for work among your people. We humbly implore you to grant them by your Holy Spirit those gifts needed for the faithful carrying out of their task, most especially wisdom, strength, and willing hearts. Let your blessing rest on this congregation. Strengthen the faith, quicken the love, and enkindle the zeal of its members that your name may be glorified and that here and in all places under heaven the kingdom of your Son may be advanced. We remember with thanksgiving those who have faithfully served your people and have now completed their time of service. We pray that in the end of days, we, with all your faithful people, may hear the voice of Christ saying, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, 
inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Go in the name of the Lord, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. The Almighty and most merciful God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen. Thank you.